A giant sandbar left behind by the 2013 floods will soon be gone. Crews are now removing all the sand that you see at Lake Loveland. Well, Brenda Lee Gonzalez is at the lake right now. Brenda, people have now lost a popular hangout spot. Now, during the summer, I'd be under 10 feet of water. This lake gets pretty high. You can see the line there on the rocks of just how far the water goes. It could get even higher, though, except it's the sandbar that's preventing it. The water at Lake Loveland is no longer the main attraction. That's something I've never seen. <laughs> we came out here so he could see the big trucks. This week, crews will dig away what's left of the sandbar created three years ago by a heavy flood. The sandbar has since become a popular spot to view the lake from. I've even seen people suntanning out there. But the Greeley Loveland Irrigation Company says the sand blocks much needed water from the lake, which serves as a source for the city of Greeley and local farmers. And so, it was nice while they had it, I guess. It must come down. Not the most enticing sight for Linda Schaefer. Definitely not, but it's progress. Who thinks the trade from sand to water is worth it? It'll be so nice to get our lake back to normal. The manager over at the irrigation company says that sandbar is on private property, so sunbathers shouldn't be there in the first place. But if you do want to enjoy some time here on the sand next to the lake, well, you can. There's a public park just on the other side of this lake. Reporting live in Loveland, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, Denver 7.